Why is it a special day today? Carol? Because it's Father's Day. It's Father's Day, yes, that's right. And it's also our Sunday School Christ Day. So we're really glad uh, that you've been able to join us this morning. And we're going to begin with a couple of songs. Uh, the first is called Open the Eyes of My Heart, and then we'll go from that into Great is Thy Faithfulness. And we discovered the hard way that when we're meeting in here, we all stand up. The short people at the back can't see, like Alec Cooper, can't see, they can't see the words. So we're better if we remain seated to sing. But that doesn't mean we can't sing. So give up Ali, okay? So we're going to begin with um, Open the Eyes of My Heart. Let's worship God together.
to pray together. Let's pray. Lord, thank you that when we gather together as a church, we have the immense privilege of being able to call you Father, because we have recognized through Jesus that that is who you are. And when we pray together, that's what we call you. But thank you that you look upon us uh, with love as your children, and that you want to lead us into all that is good and true and worthy and lasting in life. So as we gather here this morning uh, to, to hear your word, to listen, to laugh together, to meet together, we pray that you would be honoured and that today on this Father's Day we would give you uh, our thanks and our appreciation as our Heavenly Father, even as we uh, remember our earthly fathers. So be with us today. Thank you for this opportunity to meet and to remember you and all that you are. So we give our prayers because we ask them all in Christ's name. And in his name we pray together, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. That were to be given out to the kids. You can see that Cohen's got one. Has everybody got one who wants one? If not, Marion's got them down the back. Run down to the back, Marion will give you a pack. And there's a few little bits and bobs for you to do, boys and girls, if you want to do them. And they're all Father's Day themed today. There's a story that um, a wee boy was asked what Father's Day is. And he said, well, it's just like Mother's Day, except you spend less on the presents and you don't have to buy any flowers. So that's, that's Father's Day. But I heard a wee story about um, a family who, uh, after much debate and discussion, decided that they were going to get a hamster. The kids were present that they wanted a pet, and so they decided that they would get a hamster. And Mum said, well, you know, the hamster thing's only going to work if you take care of this hamster, so you've got to feed it, you've got to clean it, you've got to do all that work. Oh yes, mum, we'll do that, no problem, mum, that's fine. So they got the hamster and they called it Danny. So after three months of mum doing all the cleaning and all the feeding, mum decided that she'd had enough. And so she got the kids together and she said to them, kids, I'm really sorry, but daddy has to go. He makes a lot of mess. And all I seem to do is feed him and clean up after him all the time. And I'm just fed up of him. And the kids, as you can imagine, are a bit like, oh, you know, that's just been grown really attached to him. But, you know, if you've got to get rid of him, I guess that's for the best, Mum. And she said, well, that's good. Go and get his cage and I'm going to take him to his new owners. And at that, the kids' faces fell, Daddy? We thought you said Daddy. <laughs> So, Father's Day, Father's Day, and to get you into the mood, to get you thinking a wee bit, I've got a little quiz about fathers for you, and I'm going to give you the papers round now, I'm going to give you maybe five minutes to do this in your group, there's a spread of questions, so there'll be some of the kids will get, some of the grown-ups might get, okay, so I'm going to give you five minutes, and then we'll feed back, and we'll see how you get on with the quiz. So in this quiz, there are some names of children down the left hand side, and you've got to see if you can come up with the name of the father on the right hand side, okay? So you're trying to find the fathers of these children, and if I were a betting man, which I'm not, I don't think any of you are going to get all as well.
Okay, do you want a little bit more time? Or have you already hit the wall? And you know you're at the limits of your knowledge? <laughs> this is, uh, this is, for future reference, sit at a table with some cantata, right? And you'll, you'll be able to get the ones. You'll be able to get the ones that you didn't get. Okay! Let's see how we go on. So mark yourselves as we go. So you get one point for each stand to get right. So Bart, Lisa, and Maggie. Who are they? Oh. It's Homer's to that. Homer Simpson, correct. This is a tricky one. Yeah. Nora Jones. Does anybody know who Nora Jones' is dad is? <coughs> Have you even heard of Nora Jones? <laughs> she's, a, she's a famous singer. Nora Jones' dad is Ravi Shankar, who's a famous sitar player, the world famous sitar player, Ravi Shankar. If you were about in the 60s and listened to any of that kind of trippy music, uh, Ravi Shankar would have been in the background. Luke Skywalker and Princess Leia. Darth Vader was their dad. I hope that's not a long spoiler 40 years after the movie. Yeah, okay, so Darth Vader. Good. Next slide. Nemo. Who's Nemo's dad? Marlon. Correct, that's right. Jacob and Esau. Who was their dad? Isaac. Correct. We were speaking about that Jacob and Esau and Isaac a few weeks ago in church. Angelina Jolie. John Voight was her father. John Voight. You might remember him from Deliverance, I think it was. Simba. Simba's dad is Mufasa. And what film is that from? The Lion King. Well done, that's right. Jamie Lee Curtis. From a fish called Wanda and trading places and lots of other movies and nights out. So Jamie Lee Curtis, her dad was. Tony Curtis, correct? Well done. We have Cain and Abel. Who's their dad? Adam, in the Bible story, that's right. Okay. Sansa, Arya, Rob, Bran, and Rickon. Who's their dad? Ned Stark from Game of Thrones. They are the pivotal family in Game of Thrones. And you notice that Jon Snow's not there. Again, that's a plot spoiler. <laughs> Paddington Bear! Who became Paddington's dad? Mr. Brown! That's right, remember, the, the Brown family kind of adopt Paddington and they bring him into their family. So we don't really know much about Paddington's real bear dad, but Mr. Brown acted like his dad for him. So I brought him into, brought him into the family. And then lastly, Margot, Agnes, and Edith. Who was their dad? Gru! Correct! Again, it's a similar kind of thing. Uh, they were orphans. And Gru adopted them and brought them into his family and he became their dad. Very good. So, did anybody get 12? No, I didn't think so. 11. 10. 9. Oh, well done. The table at the front. Round of applause for the table at the front. Probably not a coincidence that they've got those kids at that table. Right, good. So, maybe a little bit about dads. At your tables, I want you to spend another maybe five minutes coming up with five things that make for a good dad. Five things that make for a good dad. And Jill Mitchell's in trouble because she's sitting with her dad. And so is Amy Simpson, right? Okay. Five things that make for a good dad. Off you go. Big voice, Lucy. 
Listen. So let's thank you. That's a good one. And the table at the back, David. Good at fixing things. And you know that from experience, don't you? That's good. Or does he neglect it? 
or worse still, abuse it. He may be almighty, but is he the kind of God who uses his power wisely and generously, or is he more like a playground bully who uses his strength to scare and intimidate? He may be sovereign, but is he the kind of Lord who feeds a responsibility towards his citizens, or the kind who thinks that they're only there to serve his ends and only of worth as long as they're doing so? These are big questions, and we can only answer them if God reveals himself to us. And that's exactly what we believe he did throughout history, but most especially in the life and the person of Jesus. And when we see him, we see the very character of God, our Heavenly Father, on display in human form. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you really knew me, and he's speaking to his disciples here, if you really knew me, you would know my Father as well. From now on, you do know him, and you have seen him. Philip said, Lord, show us the Father, and that will be enough for us. Jesus answered, don't you know me, Philip? Even after I've been among you for such a long time, anyone who has seen me has seen the Father. So Jesus, in how he is, shows us what our Father in heaven is really like. We don't need to guess about it. We know because we've seen Jesus and we know what he was like. And when Jesus spoke about God, do you know what term he used most often about him? Can you guess? Yeah, there we go. I, because it was born Monday, I dumped everything that Jesus says, all the words that Jesus says in John's Gospel, I put them into this word cloud generator. And the bigger the font, the more often that word occurs. And I think it's obvious from what Jesus says, at least in John, that he wants to talk a lot about God as Father. And when the disciples asked Jesus to teach them to pray, what were the words that he taught them to begin with? Our Father. Yours and mine and everybody's in the world, whether they know it or not. God's fatherhood is so, so important in how we think about God. Because in terms of his relationship with us, his fatherhood comes first and it modifies everything else. So he creates as a loving father. He exercises his power as a loving father. He oversees and he manages things as a loving father. He bears with us as a loving father. He guides and he warns and occasionally he punishes when he has to as a loving father. And he's committed to us from beginning to end as a loving father. I don't know what images of God you carry with you in your head when you come to church or when you think of God, but I want you to be very sure of this on Father's Day, that the fatherly heart of God is for you, and it longs for your response of love in return. Amen. We're going to finish this section and have our break now, but before that we're just going to pray together the wee prayer that Paul the Apostle wrote in the letter to the Ephesians. So let's pray together. For this reason, I kneel before the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth derives its name. And I pray that out of his glorious riches he may strengthen you with power through his Spirit in your inner being, so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith, and I pray that you, being rooted and established in love, may have power together with all the Lord's holy people to grasp how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ, and to know this love that surpasses knowledge, that you may be filled to the measure of all the fullness of God. Amen. So we're going to have a wee break now for teas and coffees. And just a wee
reminder as you leave today, if you want to make a donation to the work of uh, the welcome team to keep things taken over, I know they would be very glad to have that. But enjoy your tea and we'll see you back in about 10 or 15 minutes. Thank you. Start back. Um, a wee thanks to the team for providing those uh, amazing bites at half time. So we give a wee thanks. Round of applause. Thank you. Uh, just a couple of uh, announcements I forgot to do right at the start. Um, the guild are meeting this Tuesday, and I understand this is a gentleman called is it David Stephen, who's coming to speak about the design and manufacture of kilts. So if that's something that interests you, the guild will be on Tuesday at 7.30, is that right, Adam? No, no. Yeah, 7.30. So you'd be more than welcome to come along and find out a wee bit about uh, kilt making. And then, just to say, uh, unfortunately, we're not here today, but I understand that Dave and Mary Adams, uh, later this week, will celebrate their diamond anniversary. So I'd like to give them a wee round of applause. I'm waiting over towards the video so that we can send that wee message to them uh, when they watch online. And this time is not so well at the moment, so get yeah, well soon, uh, Mary. Okay, we're going to uh, begin our second half, and then when we have, it's much shorter than the first half, so don't worry. Um, we're going to begin with a hymn and pick it up with the Father's Day theme. It's How Deep the Father's Love for Us. So let's worship God together. Thank you. 
Facebook. Hopefully you've all consented to that. If you've got a problem with that, then please do let us, let us know. So give me a wee second, I'll get these good. So our first is for Bobby, Bobby Youngson. Let's give Bobby a round of applause. I would rather play with that toy. 
obey our Father, our Creator, and our God. We thank you that we when we turn away from you, that you give us a way back through your Son Jesus. We thank you especially today for our Sunday school and for our Sunday school teachers who tell our children about you and prepare them to be able to ask you into their lives. As we remember you as our Heavenly Father, so we remember our earthly fathers on this Father's Day. We ask that they will be blessed and that they will be an example to their children. We thank you for those fathers and mothers who bring their children here and who help in this congregation and in this Sunday school. We pray for the children in our care and we ask your blessing upon them. We pray for our young people who are awaiting exam results. We remember the sick and the sad today. Be with those who are losing their sight and those who are recovering from illness. Be with those who have succumbed to COVID in this new way. Be with those who are suffering in your faith and stay in the hands of evil men. Bless Paul, Roma and their children. We ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, William. We close our service now in the word of him 113, God the Father of creation. Let's worship God together.
Well, let's hope that you so much for coming along this morning and uh, hope you enjoy the rest of the day, whatever you've got to.